Our Transport Minister S. Isuran is urging Singapore's aviation sector to adopt technology and transform talent to overcome land and manpower constraints. That says weekly air passenger traffic at Changi Airport has recovered to about 90% of pre-COVID levels. He was speaking at SIA Engineering Company's launch of its transformation plans for the aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul or MRO sector. As competition intensifies, many regional countries are investing significantly in their airports, home carriers and MRO sectors. Meanwhile, in Singapore, our land and manpower constraints will become more binding over time. So it's critical that our aviation community, of which SIAEC is a key member, stays resolute in its commitment to the transformation effort. To speed up the inspection and maintenance of planes, devices such as this robot are being tapped. It goes on seat tracks to check for corrosion or rust. Using this bot reduces the physical strain on staff and cuts the number of hours by about half. Another artificial intelligence-powered robot will be used to help conduct pre-inspection of engines instead of the current manual process of photo-taking. Besides these tech upgrades, the firm says it's also investing heavily in training for workers and partnering educational institutions to grow a pipeline of technical talent. This whole transformation that we have um, embarked on was also the the bringing up of new areas of expertise that we need from the ground. And that also provides developmental opportunities for our technicians, for our engineers. They come through us and then they learn new uh, skill sets. And then from there, then it's always a career path possible for them to go out beyond just you know, uh, uh, where they have stayed before. In answer to questions from CNA on the disparity in bonuses between SIA Engineering Company and Singapore Airlines, SIAEC says they are separate entities with different operating models. Employees at the engineering firm were given a two-and-a-half-month goodwill payout, while those at SIA received an eight-month bonus. We have explained to the unions, and unions understand that, right? So uh, the two businesses are clearly different. Our business, if you take it the long, take a longer term view, right, is a lot more stable, right? I mean, airlines, even if they are flying with an aircraft with only one passenger, they still need the same level of services, right? Um, so in times like this, when demand is strong. Obviously, the airline can earn far more revenue compared to us.